Any news? There was an incident at the museum. Henrik is in the hospital with a head injury. Poor Henrik. Another squabble between him and Joanna, perhaps? Oh, I'm kidding, but I do remember the time she threatened to push him in the pond. Temper, temper, I'm always telling her. Do you, by any chance, know what animal Pakal was afraid of? You've got me there. I'd better get going. See you around. Well, look who it is. Ready to do some memory work, Henrik? I brought you a picture. This will help you to remember. That face. He's as familiar as my own feet. Do you know his name? Pakal. Nancy, this is the stolen carving, isn't it? And I'm the one who took it. I must have. But why? Oh, Pakal. What could I have meant by this? If you're remembering correctly, this is a serious crime, Henrik. You've got to tell me why you did it. I can't remember. Easy, Henrik. The answers are in your head. You just need to find them. It's still in the museum. Are you sure, Henrik? Did you plan to sell the Pakal on the black market? To protect him. I had to protect him. Oh, Pakal. Something is going on at that museum. A devious plot. I was the only one who could stand in the way. Whose plot is this? Is it someone who's involved with the museum? Forgive me, Nancy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even know my own name. Perhaps the only thing I can offer you is this key. It was found in one of my pockets when I was brought in. Do you know what lock it belongs to? I haven't a clue. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. We'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. In the meantime, I'll sit with my friend, Pakal, and see if he will tell me anything new. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I don't know. Do you know anything about the theft of Prudence Rutherford's necklace? I can't remember. This is a long shot, but do you know what animal Pakal was afraid of? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Did you use Joanna's name last week to place an order for Cinnabar with Keep It Real Restoration? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Do you think Joanna is behind the other thefts? Who knows? You rest up. I'll be back. Be careful.
Looks like I need to find someone who speaks Nahuatl. are done giving me the third degree, but now the board has suspended me. To, to make a long story short, I'm forbidden to set foot in the museum. Could you please call Franklin Rose and try to reason with him? If we don't get a move on, this exhibit is going straight down the tubes. To replay messages, press zero. Press nine for an outside line. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, I'm hoping to speak to someone about the theft that happened there recently. Are you the press? No, I'm a detective investigating a similar crime in Washington, D.C. This is Sheila Schultz, the director. What would you like to know? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from the Beach Hill Museum in Washington, D.C. I understand you had some rare Maya artifacts stolen recently. That's right. It's a terrible loss. And the police here have no leads. Beach Hill was robbed, too. We lost one of our prized jade carvings. I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm wondering if the robberies are connected. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the incident at Chaco Canyon? Fire away. What types of artifacts did the thief get away with? Only the center's most prized pieces. The case contained five pre-Columbian artifacts that were excavated right from this area. Do you have a list of the stolen pieces? I know those pieces like the back of my hand. There were three pottery pieces, a small stone figurine with a snake head, and an ornamental jade carving. Which piece would you say is the greatest loss for the center? Definitely the jade carving. It was highly unusual. There was a glyph on it that no one could translate. Until we hired Henrik Vanderhuhn, that is. His opinion was that it's Mayan in origin, and that it may have been a place name glyph for this area. As you can imagine, we regarded it as something of a regional treasure. Do you know that Henrik Vanderhuhn works for Beach Hill now? Yes, I know. His departure was a great loss for us. Was Henrik still working at Chaco Canyon when the theft occurred? No. It happened just a few days after he left. I remember because after the police left, the staff and I were so depressed, we went into the lounge and pigged out on the rest of Henrik's farewell cake. Do you recall having some appraisal work done by an art dealer by the name of Taylor Sinclair? How could I forget? He went on and on about the impossibly rare artifacts he could get for us. I said, are you an art dealer or a smuggler? But he assured me that the provenance documents would all be in order. Still, I never did any further business with him. He just seemed... slippery. Could you send me a photo of that jade carving so I can take a look at the glyph? I'm afraid I sent our only print off to the insurance company. They said they'd return it, but who knows when our claim will be processed. I'm sorry. Thanks a million, Sheila. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew, calling for Franklin Rose, please. 
Just a minute, please. Nancy, you must be psychic. I was just getting ready to call you myself. Oh, really? Why? I feel I should apologize for the situation that's going on at the museum, dear. I really did think we were setting you up with a nice little internship, a breather from your casework. But instead, it looks like we've fed you to the lions. Don't worry, I'm used to it by now. And after all, this situation is no more treacherous than my recent attempt at a ski vacation in Wisconsin. Anyway, about Beach Hill. I think I know what you're going to say, Nancy. Oh, let me be frank. Joanna Riggs has been in the doghouse with the board for months. Her thirst for acclaim has led her to gamble the future and the reputation of Beach Hill time and again. Now that we've lost the Pakal carving, one of our most notable pieces, well, she's just got to be stopped. I know you're upset, but the Pakal theft is not what it seems. It's not your job to defend her, Nancy. Even if she didn't steal the Pakal herself, how is it that she let this crime happen right under her nose? Did she want the insurance money? Is she mixed up with the black market? <sighs> How something is rotten in the state of Denmark. That's Shakespeare. I have reason to believe that there's another explanation. Look, I've got a client waiting, Nancy. What we need now is for you to take up the slack. I've spoken to the rest of the board, and we've agreed that the best thing is to put you in charge. But, Mr. Rose, I don't think Joanna is responsible for the Pakal theft. She shouldn't be punished. She's not being punished, dear. In legal terms, we're suspending her in abundance of caution, so she won't do any more damage to Beach Hill's reputation or her own. We're counting on you to catch this thief red-handed. Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding, kiddo. If you can get the Pakal back, we'll see about giving Ms. Riggs another chance. That seems fair, doesn't it? It's a deal, Mr. Rose. Bye, kiddo. Buenos dias. Have you heard? The police received an anonymous tip, and they're considering Joanna a prime suspect in the Bacall theft. They've taken her in for questioning. I called in that tip. She lied about the cinnabar, and you may not know this, but she has jeopardized the museum's finances with all of her wheeling and dealing. Why should she not be questioned? How do you know about museum finances? I have my sources. I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Uh, I'd rather not say. It's part of my investigation. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I hear you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve my memory, too. Something tells me this translation is going to come with strings attached. I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pakal carving were falsified. I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. If you can find that file in her office and bring it to me, I think it might help my memory of Nahuatl a lot. First you tell me you are unconcerned about the theft of the Pakal carving, and now you have an urgent need to see the provenance documents? Is it just me, or is this a little suspicious? If I can determine that the provenance documents are a fraud, this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation of the artwork, whenever and wherever it resurfaces. 
Okay, Alejandro. I'll see what I can do. I feel my Nahuatl coming back to me already. Do you know what Siwapili means? Princess or lady. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I should get back to the museum. Adios, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. You have a special delivery for me, I hope? Promise me that you'll take good care of these documents. Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return? I trust your Nahuatl has become fluent again. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C-O-A-T-L. Muchas gracias. Gotta go. Adios, Nancy. Nancy, you have brought me back to my work. What have you remembered? I've been working like a fiend. Look at the board. There's Henrik's password. This has something to do with the plot at the museum, Nancy. I'm sure of it. Who is this whisperer of silent secrets? The whisperer came from a distinguished line of royal scribes. I can't seem to remember her name, but I do recall that she wrote an account of Maya history that greatly angered Pakal because of the way it depicted his ascent to the throne. How did Pakal wish to be depicted? From the age of 12, when he came to the throne, Pakal claimed to be divinely appointed the first true authentic king of the Maya. Then, the Whisperer came along and wrote that Pakal was only king because his mother pulled some strings. It was quite a blow to Pakal's image. 
What happened to the scribe's writings? Pakal swore that the Whisperer's words would never see the light of day. He put her body, her soul, and her writings all in a tomb and locked it up tight. Wait, Henrik, a prison of stone? We're not talking about the monolith, are we? That's the idea. Does anyone else know about this? Good question. I'm certain that there's a dirty rat trying to get into that tomb. But this is where my memory fizzles out. If I could only figure out why I took the Pakal. This is important information, Henrik. Don't you think the police should be informed? Please don't breathe a word of this. There's too much at stake. One of the pieces that was stolen from the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center was a jade carving with an unusual glyph on it. Do you remember translating it? I can't remember. Have you ever been part of a smuggling racket? I don't know. You rest up. I'll be back. Be careful. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. What can I do for you? I've just got to get my hands on a replica of that jade carving you lost. Do you have any ideas? Not off the top of my head, but maybe one of my staff will have a bright idea. I need some time to ask around. Can you call back later? Sure thing. Feel free to call if you have any more questions.